a lot of people are kind of uh, amazed and bewildered and they're just in shock and awe. We've gotten it far enough along that it's pretty clear that there's not going to be any stopping it now. It's only going to get better. It's taking what you do and asking just a different question about it. This whole community has been really, really interested in ceramic 3D printing. I think what Medolfa does better than almost almost any other institution I know is they're, they're really good at looking back. So when we preserve our heritage, we do it to the highest standard possible. Um, but we spend an equal amount of time looking forward, just like what's going to happen in the future. And suddenly we now have the ability to take digital technology and form ceramics through these machines that are reading computer files. So it allows you to like very, very quickly and rapidly move through ideas in, in ways that you couldn't before. And whether you're like making a mold of this thing and reproducing it through the mold or making that machine produce the object itself, it allows you to suddenly start thinking of things that well, like, I wouldn't even think of it before because it would be too hard to make. The nature of the machines reconfigure the architecture of the ceramic material. And just by the act of doing that, it creates new potentials. What's, what's interesting to me about it is it's a way of rethinking my work. And so, so now the question is, okay, now what are we going to build? And how are we going to use it as a building block? This is a good example of the artist to the leading industries. And they're doing it hand in hand, and like one feeds the other, and the other feeds them. As it gets faster and as it starts to work with real materials like this clay body, you'll potentially be able to have a thousand very similar objects that are customized to their you know, individual user. And to me, that's that's probably like the idea of mass customization is probably the the most exciting thing about it. It's just a lot different. Like it's kind of like whatever you can imagine you can make. And so this is another step. So once you become fluent with one of these programs, then you can start designing things that would be very difficult and time consuming to make. This binder runs through the machine and where it sees image on each layer, it lays down the binder. And where it doesn't see image, it just remains powder. So when it's all over with, when the job is done, the print bed lifts up and the powder falls away and you're left with this bound together object. 3D printing also offers like a great deal of precision. It's four thousandths of an inch that the printer prints at, so it's really, really clean layers. So I think what we're doing is we're making it real for people as well. You can actually see the pieces, you can see the objects. It kind of validates a lot of what we're doing, seeing other people get excited for the first time. Modalto preserves the ceramic history and like they accept the ceramic history and they make it a really big part of what this place is about and they brought us in to kind of advance the ceramic history and add another layer to uh, Modalta and what is happening and what can happen here. Thank you.